So, hi there. It's been a while. This is a roundup again. And uh, glad uh, to have you. And I got a lot uh, to show you. First of all, it's this time of the year. And, uh, well, spring is on its way. That's very obvious. And uh, these are the first in blossom. <laughs> Okay, you may ask uh, yourself what is he doing with all this uh, insulators he finds. Well, I throw them in a box. And one day I will know what to do with hundreds of these, of uh, maybe I sell them, give them away, have a nice idea to do something with them. Don't know, just keep them. Like my marbles, this is an old pot, and uh, I filled it with uh, plate with and frosted marbles. Some of my better marbles are on eBay, but uh, I have plenty more, plenty more. <laughs> so uh, today. Something I want to show you. Hold on. You know, sometimes when uh, like a clay pipe comes out of the dirt, it is black. In a couple of days it will turn grey, white, whatever. This black will disappear. Also here. You've seen this one on my uh, video, it was uh, grey and part uh, of it was uh, black, stained. Uh, I did some cleaning, but uh, the black is uh, disappeared and uh, it's a photosynthesis process. I don't know exactly how it works, but without any... Uh, Cleaning method, other than light, uh, things turn white again. I have this little statue, you've seen that one. I call it uh, despair or grief. And it's partly black still, but uh, I don't dare to keep it outside. Now uh, we have some frost at night, but uh, I'm sure this will clean up nicely without any uh, soaking in fluids, so uh, keep you posted. And this is just for the idea. I will certainly uh, find something nice on the foreshore to put this uh, statue up. Okay, well trip 100 and before you remember this one. To keep this uh, reticence uh, effect, I uh, sealed uh, the top, and uh, as long as it is uh, full, the effect will stay. That's nice. Okay, now I have here, finally something from the Thames. This lighter was given to me by another mudlarker, and it says Thames. It's the type made in Japan, uh, chrome, I like it, clean it, yep. I have this nice uh, bottle and I would like to uh, pull the stop out, but uh, there's a small crack here and I'm afraid I will ruin it. So. What shall I do with it? Just keep it the way it is? I think that's best. Last time I had a uh, time before I had a silver chain. This one cleaned it a little bit, turns yellow, so it's copper. Okay, no problem. This very 60s ashtray 
it's so immensely 60s. <laughs> I love it. But what would have been here? A small handle, a knob? <laughs> you tell me, I don't know. This one, I cleaned it a little bit and uh, made my own uh, uh, connections. <laughs> Quite crude, I know, I know, I'm not a jeweler. But it's a souvenir bracelet from Paris. It's hallmarked on the other side, but it's all uh, phony, of course, it's brass. Nice thing. Then I have this porcelain disc, very clad with it. A plastic pipe. Yeah, I couldn't throw it away, but uh, maybe, maybe somebody wants to have it. <laughs> but uh, I don't collect plastic, really I don't. One of the things, just cleaned up a little bit, is this hair clip. It's a thing of nothing, but uh, slightly cleaned, you see. There's some decoration on it, it's a nice thing now. I have, of course, all my spoons. This one is what some uh, older, and it says 65X uh, NS. So maybe it's from the Dutch uh, railroad. There's always something on these spoons. This one says silver plated in the middle. Names on it. Okay, I have a hundred now. <laughs> but still like these. This is a nice piece. It's a dog tag. It's a soldier's dog tag, probably from the big war. The name in it is Willems. That's a very Dutch name. L A or 1 A will be his uh, regiment number and uh, must be big war great war but uh, there's no regular dog tech this one i hear a dog do you <laughs> but uh, a nice thing well you've seen this one it's quite crudely made so is it the trench art or not hard to say I have this very special uh, buckle, strange thing, couldn't see it uh, working proper. That's from a camera, small dish, unmarked, brass, copper. Nice button, but uh, flat. And I have a couple of these keys. You can see this one on video, it's very encrusted. I remove some of it and uh, throw it in the water uh, well <laughs> and uh, pick it up in a couple of months. And uh, the salt must have disappeared then, so I can uh, restore it, clean it, polish it. and. Uh, Give it away. Push button. I like it. It's nothing. It's a uh, bakelite, uh, early plastic thing. And hey, I know, but I like it. And you can still push it. <laughs> so, uh, that was uh, the roundup for this time. Uh, See you on the foreshore, that's the best thing I uh, can say, and uh, till the next time, bye bye.